If you're a console player and you want to be able to capture or play your games at a super high resolution, then you're going to want to get a capture card. And so today we're going to be taking a look into the brand new 4KS capture card from Elgato. And I'm going to be telling you everything that you need to know about this capture card, as well as providing you some in-game footage utilizing this card. So that way you can see if this is worth adding into your gaming setups. So going straight to the unboxing, the 4KS does come with a few essentials. Inside the box, you get the capture card itself, the user manual, the USB-C to USB-C connection cord, and the HDMI cable cord. Now, Elgato did decide to keep the same exact design and dimensions as their previous capture cards, that being the HD60X and the 4KX. And so just like before, this capture card is slim, lightweight, and minimalistic, with the logo being on top and the name of the capture card being on the front. Now on the back of the card, it does come with three ports, the HDMI in port, the USB-C port, and the HDMI out port. And on the front, you do get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well. Now to connect the capture card, you really just need to plug the HDMI cable that's provided into the back of the console and then plug the same HDMI cord into the HDMI in slot on the back of the capture card. You then want to go ahead and plug in the USB-C to USB-C cable cord into the back of the capture card as well as the same ports as on the back of the PC. Now if you don't have a USB-C port available on the back of your laptop or PC, but you do have a 3.0 USB port available, then there is two things that you can do. The first thing you can do is if you own the previous HD60X capture card, then you can utilize the USB-C to USB connection cord from the previous card to the 4KS. Both cords run at the same exact speed, being five gigabytes per second, so there won't be any issues when it comes to performance. And so the second thing that you can do is just purchase an adapter off of Amazon. And I'm gonna make sure that I have a link to the one that I personally recommend, down in the description below of today's video. Now, if you want to be able to play your games off of a TV or a monitor, you are then going to take a second HDMI cable and you're going to plug that into the HDMI out port on the back of the capture card, as well as an available HDMI slot on the back of your monitor or your TV. Now, moving on to the specs of this capture card, the 4KS will allow you to capture your gameplay up to 4K 60 FPS, which means that you can stream directly to YouTube at super high quality without there being any type of pixels showcasing on your screen. And with Twitch coming out with their new 2K live streaming, which allows you to go up to 1440p, you'll be able to take advantage of that feature while utilizing this capture card. And speaking of picture quality, this capture card will allow you to have HDR10 pass through up to 4K 60 FPS, but you will only be able to capture HDR at 1080p 60 FPS and this feature is only available for Windows. So unfortunately, if you're on Mac, this option is not gonna be available to you. Now, one of the things that I truly love about this capture card is the fact that it supports ultra wide monitors, which means that you'll be able to play, stream, and record your content in your monitor's native aspect ratio, and you will never have to worry about the black bars showing on the side of your screen as long as the game that you're playing supports that native aspect ratio. Now, if you're someone that cares way more about having higher frame rates rather than capturing your gameplay, the 4KS does provide you with a pass-through resolution of 4K60, 1440p 120, and 1080p 240 frames per second which means that you can enjoy ultra smooth gameplay on your monitor or TV while still recording or streaming at a lower resolution, which is perfect for competitive gamers who need high frame rates without sacrificing capture quality. Now with the release of the 4KS, Elgato did come out with a brand new software specifically for their capture cards known as Elgato Studio which is also supported for both Windows and Mac OS devices. And this offers a simpler and yet more advanced look into the way of how you can record and capture your gameplay. Now, thanks to the 4K's ultra low latency, you do not need any extra gear to monitor or record your gameplay audio, and you'll be able to play your games directly from Elgato Studio without experiencing any delay, which is perfect for FPS games such as Apex Legends or Call of Duty. But even with that being said, I still highly recommend playing directly from your monitor or your TV, 
just to ensure that you do not experience any issues when it comes to your gameplay performance. Now, the use of this capture card is not just limited to console players. It is also compatible for the iPhone as well as the iPad, the Google Pixel, and any other unencrypted HDMI sources. And so if we take a look inside of the Elgato Studio software, you can see on the top left that we have the type of capture card that we are currently using. And so if you have any other capture cards that's connected to your laptop or your PC, it will also display right here as well. Now it also does give us an option to look at our device information. So if we click on this, it does bring up the 4KS since that's what we're using. And then it also does provide you an option for your general settings, which is basically your personalization. So you can actually change the color theme based off of your computer's preset, or you can just do a dark mode or a light mode. You can then change the language that you want, and it does provide you with a decent bit of language options. It also does provide you with the update, so you can check and see if your software needs an update. And it also does provide you with a release channel so that way you can select either if you want the beta option or if you want a more stable connection with the current versions. Now you also do have an option here to change the type of resolutions that you want. So you have the 4K, the 1440p, the 1080p, as well as the 720p. You can also change the recording paths right here. And then you can also change the file name as well as the formatting for the files that you save. And last but not least, it does provide you with the help tab. So that way you can join their discord, their Reddit pages, or even go to their help center just to get any type of additional information. Now, if you click on your capture resolution on the top left, as I shown earlier, it provides you with your input source, your capture device, as well as your output source. And it shows you exactly what is currently utilizing for the resolution of your capture card. And then right next to it, it also does provide you with your audio. So as long as you see green here, then you know that your audio is being captured. And then on the bottom right, you can control the volume as to how loud you want your audio to be. And then on the bottom left, it showcases all of your recordings that you currently have recorded. And then if we come to the top right and you click on this show slash hide device settings, then it provides you with your video device settings so that way you could change your HDMI color range. You also have an option to turn on or off your HDR tone mapping, your input EDID mode, which it does provide you with three different options. You can then turn on or off custom EDID, which basically allows you to choose from various presets based on your video setup. And lastly, it gives you an option to change your audio input. Now to set up the capture card inside of your streaming software, you then want to come over to your sources. You are then going to add a video capture device. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to do capture card. You are then going to look for the device type, which is going to be the Elgato 4KS. And it should automatically appear right here inside of your canvas. Go ahead and click on OK. And now if you want to be able to live stream in 4K, 1440p or anything higher than 1080p, you also need to change your base canvas inside of your streaming software. So from here, we're going to actually go down to settings. We're going to go over to video and then you want to make sure you change your base canvas resolution as well as your output scale resolution and set it to wherever you want it. And that's all you really have to do to set up the capture card with your streaming software. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to open up a couple games so that way I can show you exactly what this can do.
Now I've used a bunch of different capture cards in the past, but I am genuinely enjoying the performance that you get while utilizing the 4KS. You guys just seen it a couple seconds ago. The quality of the videos really do speak for themselves. And so if you're someone that want to get this capture card, it is priced at $159, which is less expensive than the previous model, that being $179. And so if you want to get this capture card, I'm going to make sure that I have a link down in the description below so that way you guys can go ahead and get one yourself. And so with that being said, that is going to be all for today's video. So thank you so very much Elgato for sending me out this capture card. I really did enjoy testing this out. And also I want to hear your thoughts and opinions regarding the 4KS. So guys, make sure you leave it in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. And I will catch each and every single one of you in the comments below as well as in the next video. Have a wonderful day, guys.